River surfing is a modern and growing activity. In this video I will explain some fundamental physics on this topic. Surfing is the result of an equilibrium of different forces. If we neglect friction, the most dominant forces are gravity G of the surfer and the lift force A of the water. If you apply meaningful assumptions to the equations, you will get a required water velocity of 3 to 4 meters per second. In the ocean you can obtain completely different values, however in rivers and artificial waves this is a reasonable order of magnitude. To obtain this velocity, the water can be accelerated by flowing down a ramp. The wave forms between the fast shooting water and the slow flowing water. This transition zone is called hydraulic jump and is a typical phenomenon in river waves. To investigate the hydraulic jump in more detail, a test model has been installed into a test rig at the Institute for Modeling Hydraulic and Environmental Systems at the University of Stuttgart. The setup shown here is similar to other investigations, like for instance at the TU Munich, University of Innsbruck or the company Dreamwave, which offers a patented solution which is known for example from the WAVE project in Hanover. The water in this case also accelerates along a tilted ramp, forms a hydraulic jump and then mixes with the lower water. The present setup allows us to adjust different types of jumps and therefore different types of waves. If the lower water that is behind the wave is too low, a beach jump forms on which surfing is not really possible. Therefore the lower water level needs to be increased. If the lower water level is adjusted correctly, a maximum wave jump forms, which provides enough vertical momentum to balance the forces when surfing. If we increase the lower water level further, an A-jump forms, which often does not provide enough lift to surf. In this last clip, the lower water is increased slowly. We can once again see the different types of jumps. Thanks for watching and goodbye.